What's up everyone? Back to work on the Lexus IS250. Um, doing the rear, rear wides. Um, I ordered the plastic adhesive so we can do the bumpers eventually, uh, whenever that stuff gets here. But so far, I've sacrificed this big cardboard box and cut it into this boy right here, which is going to basically replace that because this side's a little bit bent and then the other side is super, super bent. So uh, right there, super bent. So rather than trying to fix that, I'm just replacing it with fresh metal. Um, so I'm gonna cut that out and then I'm cutting it out of the 20 gauge. So I may, I'm not sure yet, I may line the edge with, uh, with a thin like TIG rod and then weld it in, which will give it a small bit of a lip and more stability on the edge. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how stable it really feels. And then once I cut, once I cut these guys out of metal, which I already traced, boom, already traced, um, I'm going to do the same thing I did for the front, jig them up, push it out about what I feel looks good. Um, probably about two inches in the rear since I did inch and a half up front and then start making the filler panels. Here's the two freshly cut pieces. Um, you can see the really rough edges just from the metal, metal melting while it's being cut. So I'm gonna hand file that down. And the reason I hand file it is because it's just kind of like easier to control than angle grinder. And it doesn't take any material off really. So you'll only take the, the little lip of shit off. Here they are all filed down. Now I need to clamp them together and grind both edges to make sure they're perfectly symmetrical and also make sure that this little arch is nice because that's the arch that you're gonna see. This one doesn't have to be perfect but it still needs to be pretty good um, just to meet up with the other metal but they definitely both need to just match and be the same size no overhang for either one. Otherwise, they won't be symmetrical side to side, and that's not good. Riding in the Tesla, roasting nigga ketchup, sipping on the Sephra, till I messed up like yes, sir. So now I'm getting changed, people looking at me strange. Like so after they're all cleaned up and symmetrical, now I got this boy like slightly tacked on there. Um, first, I tacked this guy, and then did this one. A little weld slag, a little wire left over. Um, and I'm doing the same thing as I did on the front where I'm using these guys, little TIG wire cutlets, and using them to mark the distance. So basically, for this one, I'm just gonna use three, but that guy, this guy centered right above the wheel. And then this guy, this guy, and this guy are going to be the same length. And I'm also gonna put them the same distance from there in each direction, just to make it like nice and symmetrical front to back. Um, and then the same thing as the front, it's gonna fade down onto the bumper. But I'm gonna tack these fuckers on there and then we can get to shaping some, uh, some cereal boxes. And also you can see I cleaned this guy off because we are going to have to fade it onto the door because, you know, it's not going to work. Fading that sharp right here. It's a rough angle. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to come out to like, you know, probably like there. Because we want it, we want it to look pretty factory. So I don't want it to be fucking super exaggerated and extreme. So, 
cereal boxes up next after those guys get welded in. There she is all tacked in place. And this is um, two inches, whereas the front I did inch and a half. So a little bit, a little bit fatter in the ass. And then you can see how it's kind of, you know, angled in right there. I'm going to, once I, once I put this sheet metal in, then I'm going to bend this out just to make it flat. I might even use my fender roller to do that, just to give it some nicer shaping. That's just kind of how it bends when I put it on there, so no biggie. It won't be too, won't be too much to bend her back into place how I want it. Yo, if anybody wants the hookup, I got saved $5 off a $25 purchase of My Little Pony. Fuck yeah. But, shouts out my boy Tony, Tony the Tiger. Not sponsored. Hit me up for them low, low deals on Cinnamon Frosted Flakes. Shit's dank. This is not a paid advertisement. Between that, my boy, Cherry Vanilla Pepsi, we're gonna make this shit. There it is with all the uh, cardboard on it. Sorry, I didn't give you a cool fucking time lapse of me cutting cardboard, but cutting cardboard's lame. Um, right here, I kind of cut it a little bit short, and I thought that angle was a little bit too sharp. So I'm add half inch just to make it a little bit smoother there. And then right, that arrow is kind of where I'm going to start the uh, fade to that half inch from. But all the gaps are pretty pretty solid so now I can pull them off bring them over there and cut them out of metal and uh, you know hope it works out and now it looks all really stupid with the wide body and stock wheels cars always look really dumb when they have that if YouTube build vlog videos were were on vine there it is pieces cut out just like that. Boom, boom. Got both sides ready to go. Still need to mock up a little flat piece on that guy, but right now I can cut up all these edges, bend them up, and see how she looks. There it is, all tacked in place, and I forgot to show you me doing the work because I suck at this. But I'll show you on the other side when I get there. But this right here is the line for the door, roughly. So I'm going to cut that with the angle grinder and hope it's a good line. And then basically this part's gonna stay on the door. I'm just going to build a filler panel on each side, right, right there, so that it looks flush and everything. And then I'm going to cut the little tacks, bop, bop, bop. And then the little uh, little braces that I made, I'm cut those so I can pull the whole fender flare off, and then I can cut away all the uh, all the other shit, the, the excess stock fender, so you can get it nice and low, and then slap it back on, and finish welding her up. But check out how fucking fat she is. She a fat bitch. Fat likes his fenders like he likes his women with a fat ass and a fat front. So when I first cut it, the line was a little off, but now the door opens. This door gap is pretty big, but that's no big deal. Just when I when I make the filler piece for here, I just gotta add a little bit extra meat right there, and uh, yep, it'll be all right. But now I'm gonna cut this off and work with work with the underside. So here's what it looks like after the saw's all cut. Pretty rough, but uh, this outer line is where roughly the uh, 
the fender, whatever it is. Oh, that, that's where this goes. So then the inner line is roughly where I'm gonna cut. I'm also, I wasn't sure if I wanted to cut this at first, so I went around it, but I'm just gonna make it nice and round. And then inside the door, I'm just gonna cut all the way up to this seam and then come a little bit further down than I did just to make sure he has clearance for whatever wheels he wants to run. Um, and then I'm going to close the seam up and put some seam sealer on it just because that makes it nice and rust free later on down the road. And then I can get to weld that fucker back on there. the uh, cut after it's nice and cleaned up and now what I'm gonna do is take the inner layer and hammer it out and tack weld it to the outer layer and then throw the so some uh, seam sealer on it I don't know how to speak English fuck it um, so kind of started doing it right there the uh, the factory steel on this I'm pretty sure it's galvanized so it doesn't rust but it just you know gives me cancer so that's cool and all but Welding it up, I'm not gonna video that because it takes a while and it's really fucking boring. And then I can weld the flare back on. Boom, there she is, welded up for the most part. Um, I need to pick up some seam sealer to do that and tack the shit out of that boy so she's nice and solid. Now, uh, I'm gonna just show you how I bet those other guys for the other side. I'm gonna just Show you how, not doing that tonight though. All right, so these boys, so it's 20 gauge, thin shit. Basically just kind of lightly roll them. And then I don't have the little other, the other guy on here. So you just kind of, you're just gonna shape it, make sure it all fits like perfectly flush. You don't want any big gaps and you don't want to have to bend it into place after it's already on the car. So, test it, goes like that. Bend it, test it, bend it, test it. 50 times, a lot of tries. Then eventually it'll fit perfect. So like- Outro, Matt. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Outro, Wyatt. Film. What'd you film? Wide body. Off Lexus. camera. Lexus wide body. So that'll be like, so you'll clip that, right? No, no, no. All this no, is going in right no, now. No, it's not. Right you'll now. clip it. Go, you'll go, clip go. it. Okay, clip. You okay. just watched an IS250 get wider, right? I can't think of anything Significantly. slick. Cut it off. Two inches, right? Cut. No, was it two inches wider? Two inch rear, so look, one and a half front. It doesn't look like I'm talking right now. I'm just making gestures. But we've lost the volume on the video. So it's two inches wider, right? And one in the front. Inch and a half wider. So it's inch and a half wider in the front and two inches wider in the rear. On each side. On actually. each side, not just one, because that'd be kind of silly. Mm -hmm. That'd be a weird order to VR, to be honest. Like, I need a 10.5 and a, I and need a, nine, a 10 and a 9, same <laughs> offset. Uh, yeah, no. That's her. So what we lay down. Skin bondo next, right? The uh -huh. body color? Yeah, we did. Hi. Well, no, I don't do that actually. Why That's do that? Body shop. No, no, no. Oh, I'm that not doing well. that. Yeah. And it needs finished welding. Oh, it does, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, like comment, comment, subscribe. Send money. You don't have to drive my car up here anymore. That was the no. last outro. Come I did. on. What? what? Those outros are old, oh, man. Dave. All right. Yeah. All right. Cut.